Hi guys, 732 Review Crew back. I am Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. This is Clone Wars Season 5, Episode 2. This is canonically, the, chronologically, the first episode of Season 5. So it uh, it goes a little weird. Don't worry, we're back to that weird order. We're on two fronts. Sign me up. Yeah. Say nothing else. No, Let's get um, into this, so please. As we usually do, though, with first episodes of Seasons, and this is technically the first chronological episode, this is available for free on Patreon. Uh, we are doing only one episode for this, just because it does fit our time slot a little better for this. But we do appreciate all the support on this, and we will be starting in three, two. One, Clone Wars. Onderon has succeeded Onderon, to the Confederacy not of Alderaan. Independent Systems under the rule of a new king. However, a small band of rebels have taken refuge deep within its vast and savage wilderness. Dude, sign me up for all of this episode. Season five, new graphics. The only way to reclaim Alderaan will be <laughs> Alderaan. It's definitely not Alderaan. Our true king has been silenced. The one you recognize is a traitor and a separatist minion. I need your help to survive this. Huh? Oh, was that the, the guy from last season? Lux Bontar. Oh shit, fuck yeah, the, dude. The separatist guy that his mom died? Yeah. Yeah. They get, they get attacked soft targets while the Republic continues to engage them on the battlefield. That sounds like terrorism, Anakin. Well, I think of it as an insurgency to help realign these planets with the Republic. What you're suggesting would open up dangerous possibilities, and we must not train terrorists. Uh, rebels. Rebels. Train and observe. Send advisors. <laughs> I'll assemble a team. So they're Green Berets this episode, right? No, they're observers and advisors. Not terrorists. Is that Rex Rebels. With a, is that Rex with a jetpack, or was that Cody? She oh! really, really looks like a squirrel. Yeah, she really does. <laughs> I really just come so this far. This is so happy. Looking like a Sith right now, though. Stay where you are. It's all right. We're friends. Jedi. I'm Commander Tano. We're Commander Tano. She's so old now. Planet. I like that Ahsoka spoke for them. I feel like Ahsoka would make a cool Sith. A bit rough around I'm getting Yavin 4 vibes. Is that a Proto Dragon? It's actually a Pterodactyl. No, those are the things you flew around Zandalar in. Mm. So, so Guerrero. Oh! Oh! That's Saw Guerrero? That's what they said. He's so young. Yeah. Who trained him as a rebel? Oh, dude, that is so funny. Lux, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Ahsoka. I didn't realize you had such strong ties to Onderon. Onderon is my home. My mother represented it in the Senate. I'm not fighting for the Republic. Well, what matters now is we need each other's help, just like we did on Karlak. Karlak? What happened on Karlak? Ooh. Lux obviously thinks highly of you. I guess so. Ooh. Let's hope that respect is well founded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do a backflip. I like how they just brought a droid tank for demonstration purposes. They might have had that because they're, they're on this planet. You're a terrible soldier, Bonteri. I'm not sure if they're more interested in fighting the droids or each other. Keep your eyes on the quick learners. This, this guy did good. Time is not on our side. Ooh. I hate pro droids. And... You sure you're up for this? Saw. It was an accident. You would have had us both killed. Just stop it. Sit down, boy. This isn't the Senate. You've got no talent for this. It's going to take a lot more than muscle to defeat the Separatists. Politics have failed us. We have no choice. There will be time for both. Warriors are quick. Pack twin blasters and come with their own shield generators. Right, Nothing. Did they bring a bunch Short of things. Of a cannon will pierce it. But it looks like they this. do have two weaknesses. What the shields don't stop are slow or stationary objects. They're designed to absorb them, so nothing hinders their movement. 
Destroyers are blind from behind. It seems like such a terrible design flaw for a droid. But it's got a big shield. But you should be able to put a camera on the back. Nice. Hmm. Wow. Nice touch. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh. oh. Be mindful of your frustration. It'll only hold you back. <laughs> Here. Use your shoulder. Imagine having him teach you how to be calm and keep your eyes on the target. Imagine getting mad and having Obi Wan try and tell you to be calm. Mm. Hey, Commander, how about um, helping me practice? Not ideal, but she'll take it. Not the probe droids. Terrible. There's no scouts. It's just a couple droids. <laughs> Too hard, bro. Can't get like bocce ball. The speed right. Don't give up. I don't have that, do they? Learning this could save your life and those around you. Oh, you got it. You're a good teacher, Jedi. All right. All right. Oh, just forget it. I'll never learn this. It's a dope gun. It is. You made it look easy. It wasn't always that way. Right. The Force. That your secret? No. Perseverance. Snips, are you losing focus? No, Master. Good. A headshot is the only. She's getting jealous. Distractions. Droids! Droids! Why Droids. won't you fire? Oh, dear. <laughs> Take cover! Why did the Jedi not use the Force to push that? Why did no one notice until they were walking in the front door? Where's the scouts? There's not a single guard in the whole compound. First travels ever. It's almost like Jedi yeah, actually shouldn't be generals down. or military advisors. It's not right, their fault. Like that. They didn't point out that they had no like security or scouts or anything. They're they're not up to that part of training class yet. This week only seven. Protect them. We cannot fight this wall for them. Um. Why not? Aren't they at war? You didn't teach us to run. Ooh. So use your disruptors to take out the droids. C4. It looks like an explosive. How can you tell? <laughs> That's one way to disrupt. I love droids. It's time to do what you practiced earlier in the episode. Duck. Oh. Put out the beasts. They're gonna help. Someone's gonna have to go get those horses later. <laughs> Look at this feel good episode about yeah. teamwork and success. <laughs> rebel. Uh, you will answer for your crimes against the We uh need to clean you up. <laughs> I like it. Now you look more like a soldier than a politician. Well, maybe a good politician needs to get dirty now and then. Take confidence from this victory, but rest assured there will Gotta be run. more droids coming now that they know your position. It doesn't matter. You're ready now. We are going to take the fight to the But they couldn't do that. The Jedi aren't sketchy at all. Didn't they literally, didn't Obi-Wan literally say we can't do this? What were you doing outside of the city gates? Hunting. Hey, listen, we need to deliver all of this in time for supper. Hmm. Are you scanning anything? It's hard to tell. So much organic matter. Let them through. <laughs> it worked. Even Druids can get bullied. <laughs> you must find recruits and choose your targets wisely. They'll be looking for us. We should split up. Regroup after nightfall. I'll alert our brothers. Good luck. You, you too. too. <laughs> so it's the beginning of the Andoran arc, which include, uh, introduces a very uh, big character in two pieces of Star Wars um, that you've seen already. Oh, Sakura. Yeah, Andor and uh, Rogue One. For, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you've yeah. Seen. Um, and as a result, you know, we see where he gets some of his footing. He has some sort of, you know, it seems like a background already in what he's doing. But he's not as organized and whatnot. So we see. Well, he's young. He's very militant in his ways. Uh, we've seen from you know, uh, 
Andor with how he runs his operation versus how the other people do. He he literally has like secret bases and whatnot. Like we saw him. He's very game. paranoid. He's very paranoid. And in this, we don't really see that yet. But what we do see well, is that he hasn't been through war yet. He's going through his first We're war. We're seeing him yeah. at, yeah. And he's having, you know, these nice conversations with some of the greatest minds of all time, the Jedi. But I, I'm just going to point out one fun, interesting notion is that he's, Anakin is literally teaching him how to fight a, a, as a rebellion. Yeah. And he ends up being one of the forms of the rebellion during the you know yes the, during that gee i could thing. have never imagined that looking at history books and it's fun to see that <laughs> darth vader trained him basically to you know fight against his own people to dismantle his own yeah, yeah and he's pretty effective but you know he's also pretty bloodthirsty and whatnot um from what we know from him in andor where he you know he he's okay you know, with with loss. with losses and he's a little yeah. bit you know blunt and this right now he's talking to bon terry he's like you know maybe you should stay in the senate this and that and he's a very you need to prove yourself to me but i like how much respect he has for the jedi because he knows that the republic can't really help because of how complicated the situation is uh but they can send jedi at least. which like i still don't understand because the republic is not invading separatist planets um well there's this one's sovereign yes they they said that the uh like the king went with the separatists. So start, but like they're fighting a this. war, which I don't get. I don't get it. It's, they're they're being good guys. They're trying to be. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. Don't don't worry. I don't don't, get don't, chaos. Don't, don't think too much. Um, Okay. So we see some cool lessons. We see you know it gives us some ideas of how the you know the republic is fighting against the droids. We get some of their strategies, like how they roll the draw the uh, the the ball into the explosives, and you know underneath like the droidicas with the shields. Yeah. As well as the tanks, how they take them out. And, you know, it's a nice, fun episode. Um, and droids are stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have another, I think, three episodes left in this arc. It is a four-parter. Um, oh, wow. Okay. And the arc is obviously, you know, what seems to be terrorism forming in Andoran to fight against the king. Freedom fighter. Freedom fighter. So we're going to see some insurgencies. Now, this is, uh, war crimes are amping up in these seasons right now. We didn't see any currently. None yet, so. except for um, false... Right now, they, they kind of false flag themselves. They're, you know, because they're not supposed to be inside the city. So that's, not, that's not, that's not false. That's not the term. No. Okay, never mind. Trojan horse. Yes, Trojan horse. They're Trojan, Trojan horse. Trojan horse. Yeah. So they do, that was a great callback for that. Um, and we see Ahsoka having some new feelings in this episode. I mean, we've seen those feelings previously. It's just more intense jealousy, than before, yeah. I guess. And it, oh, jealousy. Jealousy. Yeah. She's jealous of Bon Terry and the, uh, the woman. Any interaction? Steeler. And every single time they interact, he, he's so unbalanced that even Anakin's like, uh, calm yourself. What are you doing? She should just look back and be like, speak for yourself, dude. Yeah. Speak for your guy. Yeah, self. Fair, fair <laughs> like, how's Padme? Huh? <laughs> so how's Padme, you know? Oh, um, uh, yeah. Um, she's how's, good? How's okay. Mary's like great. trading you. Huh? <laughs> uh, I love how also they said Rex with them too, just because Rex is obviously a good character too. <laughs> Don't have yeah. much else to add. It's pretty uh, much one I, episode. I, it's it not was much just set up episode. Yeah. yeah. So only so much to yeah. talk about. Um, aside from that, I mean, it's exciting that we're actually into what everyone considers the good part of Clone Wars. It's all been a good part. What do you mean? Yeah. I, well, I mean, yeah, last season was good. Season one, two, and three were amazing. <laughs> you don't know how to have true emotions or feelings. So. All right. I'm joking. Thanks I'm for joining us. Um, we do appreciate all the people who do join us We've for Clone Wars. We've been watching this show for over a yeah. year. And we got not too much left in it, to be honest. A year. If not too much. We're, we we're almost at the halfway mark. <laughs> we have three seasons left. Uh, yeah, but if we do and two. And multiple other shows. We do two episodes. Of, Rebels, episode. Bad Batch. Bad Batch is the show I'm excited for. Rebels. Is I, don't, I'm, I don't even know if I'm excited. I, I, I'm going to watch in like 2026 well, at this point. You don't have to watch Bad Batch before Bad Batch. No, Bad Batch before Rebels. Yeah, Bad Batch is right after, no, after do, Clone Wars. We do um, Tales of the, the Jedi. Yeah, I want to see I want to see Jedi's back. Skipping it. It's six episodes of dude, the greatest skipping content it, ever. Dude, I can't. I'm vetoing your skip. I'm joking. It's so good. Dude, I can't say it now. A year ago, I could have been like, no way, dude. We're not doing this. But <laughs> you could it for the Star Wars. I literally just pointed out how we're well over a year. I can't wait till we get to Bad Badge. And you, like, finish season one. You're like, Mikey, why did we watch Clone Wars? I didn't need any of this backstory. <laughs> Daughter, what if it sucks? No, we're gonna finish. It doesn't suck. We're gonna finish. Like that's that's. Just I'm gonna be honest. We're probably gonna finish the season. Finish seven, season seven of Clone Wars, and we're probably all just gonna be sitting here for like 
you know, five seconds because I've I've looked it up. I've said it so many times on IMDb. The last three episodes of Clone Wars are all in the top ten of animated TV series. I can't wait to watch that next year. It's <laughs> great. All right, if you join us for this and you make it this far into our Clone Wars, you know that Clone Wars is one of our casual watches in the sense of we're not super serious while we watch it because there's not a lot to, you know, absorb and infer and whatnot like our other shows, Battlestar Galactica, Expanse, and whatnot. So we do appreciate anyone who does join us for all these, sits through these reactions, discussions, and all that. There's a few of you especially who always comment on the videos. We do appreciate you a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we're the Review Crew. If you do enjoy our content, check out our Patreon for full lengths in this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Toodaloo.